Well, it seems that Napleton Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram hasn't learned their lesson. We got another review, and it seems like they got sued and just had to settle. Why does this not surprise me? Welcome on back, guys. Before we get into today's video, we got to talk about the sponsors here, and that is Morgan & Morgan Attorneys at Law. If you're looking for a personal injury attorney, you will find none larger than Morgan & Morgan. Handling over 20 million claims last year alone, or 20 million phone calls last year alone, which then led to claims, they use the pun size matters, and it's, it's funny but also factual. Morgan & Morgan is the largest personal injury law firm on the planet Earth. If you're looking for a personal injury attorney that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these big insurance companies, they're it. You can get started in eight clicks or less from one of these nifty little smartphones by going to forthepeople.com forward slash TK's Garage. Again, that is forthepeople.com forward slash TK's Garage. And I appreciate them for allowing me to do what I do. So guys, getting into this, we're going to post this review right here, and you guys can see it. It says, I purchased a Wrangler from them in 2017. As many others have stated, they false advertised their prices like crazy. When I complained through Jeep Corporate, I was contacted by the sales manager from this location. His answer to their shady sales tactics was, if we didn't do this, we wouldn't sell any Jeeps. So basically, if you didn't screw your customers, you'd be unable to sell cars. They advertise the price with all available rebates at the same time. So to qualify for the advertised price, you have to be a recent college graduate who is a military veteran who uses the vehicle for farming and real estate sales while being a loyal customer. What the fuck? And the first time Jeep owner, I paid 4000 more than the price on their website. That is a deceptive tactic. If the sales price on their website shows a price, by law, they have to honor it in the state of Illinois. I don't know if you know this or not, but uh, Stephen, who's a local guide, one of the most valuable Google reviews you can get. And um, yeah, yeah, they have to honor that that price. Um, they paid more, I paid more, paid 4,000 more than the price on their website. It was only the four door manual transmission sport S in the Northern Midwest. So I still bought it today. I got a $150 check in the mail from a class action lawsuit about other shady things. They did force you to pay for fake add ons and et cetera, et cetera, that you never asked for. They're known for that too. Forging your signature, uh, adding uh, warranties you never authorized them to do, all kinds of fun stuff. I hope this class action suit hurts. I hope this class action suit hurts them really bad because this dealership is corrupt as fuck and should not be allowed to stay in business. Here's the thing, and it, in case anybody says that it's not legitimate, we, we're going to drop the thing here, but you can see he got an actual check right there from the federal trade commission absolutely unbelievable right there that's absolutely crazy i wanted to share that story with you guys because i saw it popped up it literally just went live two hours ago from a local guide as you guys can see from the review what do you guys think about Napleton Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram there in Arlington Heights? Have they learned their lesson, do you think? Or do you think they're going, to, like, I don't, I kind of feel like when the top of your company has been on probation and convicted, or not adjudicated, but we know, we all know about that situation and what happened. I don't think your company has any morals or any character to be able to operate properly, right? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But it's not just about what I think. It's about what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you've dealt with any Napleton dealership 
anywhere in the country and have been screwed, I want to hear your story. Contact me at TK's Garage Dealer Issues at gmail.com. Again, that's TK's Garage Dealer Issues at gmail.com so I can vet your story and uh, expose the SOBs that took advantage of you right here on this channel, which we've been doing for months now. So, till next time, hit that thumbs up, guys. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.